Welcome back to Focus on Licking County on Talk 790 WHTH. I'm News Director Dave Downey. Thanks for joining us. Our guest throughout this segment of today's show is Abby Reynolds. She's the Communication Officer for the Military Veterans Resource Center. And Abby, thanks so much for taking time out of your schedule to join us today right before the holidays. For folks maybe who are not exactly sure what the Military Veterans Resource Center is. How about a little bit of background on the organization? Absolutely. We are a 501c3 statewide nonprofit organization. We are based in Columbus, Ohio, but we have resource centers throughout the state. And our mission is to provide personalized services to veterans who have honorably served. Um, One of the key services we provide and that we find very important in today's world is the career-related services, such as resume help, assistance obtaining licenses and certifications for skills they may have gained in the military, but don't have credentials for now that they're back. Um, Anything from interview help to career assessment. Uh, We have about 900,000 veterans living in the state, so a lot of them are in need of those services, but we also um, have more Supportive services that we are expanding on as we're growing, such as food assistance, transportation, emergency financial assistance. You know, we hear some of these different things, and we'll get into a lot of what you folks are doing. But I always like to get a little bit of background on the people that we're speaking with. Mm -hmm. How did you get involved with the Military uh, Veterans Resource Center? Was this a passion for you? Do you have veterans in your family? Uh, How did you get involved? Great, right. Um, I do have veterans in my family. Both my grandfathers are veterans. Um, Really, I was interested in in the nonprofit sector. I have a background in political science with a focus in like state and local government, public administration, and nonprofit work was of interest to me. And I had graduated from college and been looking, am I going through a job search of my own for a while? And it, um, nothing. When I first got out, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do and came across Military Veterans Resource Center, um, met with our executive director and director of operations, and both of them had such a passion for the work they did. And I myself am not... Uh, did not serve in the military. I'm a civilian, and I can't really express how um, much this has changed me and just understanding mm-hmm. what the our service members have done for us, and it's really been an eye-opening experience. So obviously going into that, you, you I mean, we all know, and you grew up in that age of 9-11 where mm-hmm. you, you know, those kind of things happen, but uh, I'm sure you're seeing veterans across all spectrums, all ages exactly. come in. Have you been exactly. kind of shocked and amazed at some of the stories these folks have? Absolutely. They really are just um, all sorts of stories, all sorts of people, um, young veterans, older veterans, veterans who are supporting large families, veterans who are just trying to get their lives back on track or find something that they want to do after the military. And it has been amazing. And it's um, they continue. What's really amazing is they did great work for us in the military, but now they can, many of them go on to do even great, many great things after the military as well. And it's just um been a great inspiring experience you've been with the organization almost a year i think you said Uh uh, coming up in in january time flies i mean has it kept you busy have you been able to get your feet wet now and kind of feel comfortable with (laughs) what you're doing absolutely absolutely um you know at first i um just learning all about uh, military culture and what uh, veterans are experiencing and just learning about my job really is getting the veteran stories and sharing it on our website on social media is a big part of what I do and I've really have come to learn how to get the story out of the veteran Mm -hmm. what questions to ask and um it's become important ex- part of my experience sharing that with others. And so I've been uh, cultivating those skills here and have really enjoyed that part of my job. Are they appreciative of what you're doing? A lot of times uh, the veterans are kind of, you probably know better than I do, they mm-hmm. keep kind of a lot of stuff in. They don't want to let yeah. a lot of people know what's happening in their lives. Are they more coming uh, forthcoming with you, and are they appreciative? Um, sometimes it really depends on the person. Uh, they're definitely very appreciative of the career specialists, who that's the majority of the staff. They, uh, The career specialists are almost like battle buddies for them, guiding them through the post-service process. And the, they just, um, some veterans really are so um, so appreciative. They will share that with me right mm-hmm. away. Um, some of them, you know, just depending on the personality, are more reserved, and you really have to um, pull it, ask the right questions, kind of pull at them. And but eventually, in my experiences, all of them tend to open up, and they're just very appreciative of 
the work that we do for them. Did you find it when you took this job that the mm-hmm. veterans were coming in and saying to you, boy, I didn't even know you guys were here. Sometimes it's so hard to get the word out about an organization like the Military Veterans Resource Center. Absolutely. Um, we are still trying to, we are a small nonprofit, so we're getting ourselves established in the state. And with that, there are so many resources out there for veterans. Sometimes they don't know where to go to find the organization that will fit their needs. And so that's why we can be a critical organization for veterans as we assign them a career specialist who will sit down with them, uh, learn their situation, interview them, gain insight onto what is um problems may be impacting their life and we'll point them either provide services that provide our services for them or connect them with an organization that can so we um yeah the, the, having that personal touch can really help guide the veteran but like you said as a small nonprofit, we're still trying to get ourselves out there <laughs> to tell veterans that we can do that for them well i mean it's interesting what you you folks do to help people how did it get started i mean what was the sure. impetus i mean who were the folks that said we need to do something to help veterans right um that would be our executive director lynn proper he uh well first we started opened for operations on Pearl Harbor Day of 2000, so we're about 14 years old. But prior to that, Lynn had been the Director of Workforce Development at the Ohio Bureau of Employment Services. And um, in, in the years, he had seen funding get cut, federal programs cut, and so there was certainly an, a, just a need for these types of career services to be in supportive services to be provided for veterans. So he decided to leave government employment, um, got some funding to start this, and we've just been in a slow upward swing of growth ever since. (laughs) You talk about that growth. How large is uh, the organization? And you mentioned that there are branches throughout the state. Mm -hmm. Where are those branches? Sure. Well, like I said, uh, we are based in Columbus, Ohio. Actually, um, just head on 161 and keep going and you'll eventually run into us. We, um, 1395 East Dublin Granville Road is where we are in Columbus, but we also have resource centers um, in Chillicothe, which mainly serves vets in Southern Ohio as well. Um, Many patients at the Chillicothe VA Medical Center. We also have one in Hamilton, Ohio, which supports a lot of veterans in the Cincinnati area. Dayton, which has the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. So we see a lot of transitioning vets over there um, trying to figure out what they want to do now that they're transitioning. We also have one in Springfield where there's like a large National Guard presence and also in Finley, Ohio. Mm-hmm. You're listening to Focus on Licking County on Talk 790 WHTH. I'm News Director Dave Downey. Thanks for joining us. Our guest throughout these next two segments of today's show is Abby Reynolds. She's the communications officer with the Military Veterans Resource Center based in Columbus. Now, we brought you in, Abby, obviously, to get out a lot of information mm-hmm. as we can on the uh, on the Resource Center. But one thing we really want to talk about and hit on is maybe this employment program that's going to be taking place in January, and we'll get to that. But folks will hear that and think, okay, employment for veterans, how tough is it? I know the numbers are much higher mm-hmm when it comes to the general population, but what are some of the common barriers to employment that you see veterans struggling with? Sure. One of the things I've noticed in my personal experience is a lot of veterans come in for um, licensing and certification assistance. They have these great skills and experiences that they've picked up on in the military, but since, um, you know, sometimes there's not a direct equivalent now that they get back in the civilian workplace, and so uh, our coaches will sit down with them, maybe talk about what skills they um, have, what they enjoyed in the military, and maybe help them find a program that's similar, and we will find a program where they can get certification and actually help pay for that certification, and so that's been critical. Um, We also, one of the major barriers is differences in communication style. The military um, has its own culture, and so when for maybe veterans who have been career made the military their career and now are transitioning out and want to make a move in the civilian arena that's going to be an adjustment and same for veterans maybe who joined right after college or high school and the military is primarily the work experience that they've known there's um just and it's an adjustment that they need to make and so our coaches will work with them to get them ready for that 
Now, you talk about doing this. Obviously, if you're Mm -hmm. doing this on your end, you got to maybe have some community partnerships that you're working with. What are some of those other groups or employers, I guess I should say, that you're working with to help veterans find employment? Sure. We uh, will... I'll start by saying we'll work with anyone who is interested in helping uh, us get vets hired in Ohio. And one of their Veteran Service Commission, ODJFS, Ohio Department of Mm -hmm. Job and Family Services, a lot of times it takes, since veterans have their, each situation is unique, it may take a collaboration of uh, groups and people to get point the veteran in the right direction. So we've worked with a variety of communities, a Goodwill, Volunteers of America, COWIC to help veterans. But critical is, um, like you mentioned, our partnering with employers. We've worked with AEP and Nationwide. Um, one of the good things about us is that our coaches um, have these relationships with employers. So a lot of times they will notify us of job openings. And if we know of a vet who's qualified or may have an interest in that area, we'll just let them know right away and help them maybe uh, point them in the direction towards getting an interview, help them prepare for it. So we may have jobs available that might not be posted mm-hmm. elsewhere that we know of because of our employer partners. Now, folks will hear about the Military Veterans Resource Center, and they'll think, well, mm-hmm. Dave, we've got Lincoln County Veteran Service Commission right here. We've got mm-hmm. other veterans organizations. Maybe what are some of those things that you folks that are do a little bit different than maybe what people here in Lincoln County are used to getting out of the Veteran Service Commission? Sure. Um, well, I know the Veteran Service Commission, they definitely specialize in helping vets with um, v- helping them with financial assistance, mm-hmm. VA claims. But a lot of times, if they need a more in-depth um, search with finding out what kind of job they want, or we have the ability to really sit, uh, sit down with the veteran and help them figure out what their options are, which uh, I think that makes us unique as we will make as many appointments as they want with them and work with them till they can get pointed in the right direction towards what their employment goals are. Are there some like requirements, I mean, mm-hmm. I, that uh, veterans have to have to receive assistance? Or I mean, is it any veteran? Are there some things that we want to let veterans know are hearing this and think, well, oh, I'd like to be a part of this. Are there some requirements that are necessary? Well, our requirement is that they have to have honorably served in the U.S. military. So as long as they're a veteran member of the U.S. Guard and Reserves or um, active duty, as long as they've honorably served, we're going to help them. Let's talk a little bit about, I mentioned that you guys are going to have an upcoming career Mm -hmm. workshop for veterans. That's going to be taking place in a little bit mid to late January. When is that going to be taking place? Where is it going to be taking place? And tell us what's going to happen that day. Sure. Um, Our Veterans Career Workshop, it's a program that's going to really focus really focus on the job search and help veterans figure out what they want to do and point them in that direction. And it's going to take place at our Columbus headquarters, 1395 East Dublin Granville Road from 10 a.m. in the morning till 3 p.m. And we will provide lunch. It's very (laughs) important. (laughs) Uh, Our career specialists are going to be running it. And so it's going to be a group setting, um, but it's going to they're still going to receive that individualized assistance. So we're going to cover resume writing, how to um, our career specialists will review your resume with you, really help you professionalize it for the area that you want and we'll do mock interviews so you're ready for a uh, real life um, interview situation with an employer we'll do cover letters so it's going to be i guess all inclusive of what your job search Mm -hmm. would need and we'll also you know sit you to our computer lab and if you feel you're ready to start applying for jobs feel free we'll set you over there so now can and veterans sign up the day of the workshop do they have to do that pre-register um, how would how, how's that work? yes pre-registering would be um, preferable you can call our career specialist Felicia Luckett she is the organizer her phone number is 614-636-4622 or um, you can email her. It's well, it's uh, v e l e c i a dot l u c k e t t at m i l v e t s r c dot org. So a lot long of email. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that's a long email. <laughs> or you can just always message us on Facebook. That's the uh, easiest way to do it. <laughs> Abby, we we've gotten uh, to the end of this first part of this show okay. today. Uh, if you can if we keep you around, we'd like to talk a little bit a bit more about not only the Veterans Career Workshop but a lot of the other things you're doing. So if you don't mind hanging around, we'll sure. be right back. Thank you're you. listening to Focus on Licking County on Talk 790 WHTH. I'm News Director Dave Downey. Our guest during this second segment of the show is Abby. 
Reynolds. She is the communications officer for the Military Veterans Resource Center, and she'll be joining us again in the third segment of today's show coming up after this quick break.